and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the books that I read throughout the month of March. If you're new around here my name is Caroline and I have a goal for this year to read 50 books. So far, do I say so good? I'm not sure. Uh, I've read three books in the month of March. I don't think that's very good considering that I think there are five weeks and so I should have reread really five books but I didn't. I thought I was going to make it but then the end of March crept up on me really quickly and so I'm still listening to and still reading two books that I started at the end in, in March and I haven't finished them yet. Ah! And I got to like the 29th of March and I was like I can finish these and I still haven't managed it and I'm filming this on the 6th of April so I'm six days in and I'm still trying to finish these two books. Not saying they're not good books but they're just taking a long time to get through. So basically the three books I have read slash listened to in March were I listened to The Audacity by Catherine Ryan, I read Normal People by Sally Rooney and I read Black Canyon by Jeremy Bates. So I'll start off with my review of The Audacity by Catherine Ryan. Uh, I love Catherine Ryan, I think she's a great comedian. This book was very good. It wasn't as funny as I thought it could have been for a comedian though. So I've listened to like Ramesh Ranganathan's autobiographies and I, la and I did laugh at those and well, who else have I listened to? I'm, to? I'm looking at my phone and I've got my Goodreads account which tracks everything otherwise I would just forget absolutely everything. Um, Parenting Hell, Rob Beckett and Josh Widdicombe, I did laugh whilst I listened to that. Anyone else at all? No, just those ones for now. And that's my one downside with the Catherine Ryan autobiography is I didn't find it as funny as I would have liked because she's one of my favourite comedians and so she's really funny in stand-up and in comedy panels and things like that. But her book mm, wasn't as amazing. But I will say her book was very insightful about learning a bit about her life and about her. As, as autobiographies do, they teach you about the person and it was very interesting to learn about her. So I do really recommend if you like Catherine Ryan um, but yeah, like I say, I don't know if you'll be roaring with laughter, um, but yeah, I mean, it's a very quick review there because I don't really know what else to say. It's an autobiography. You, if you like the person, then you probably would like the book. <laughs> I gave it a four stars out of five on my Goodreads account. The next book I read, now this could be controversial to a fair few people. I read the book Normal People. I have one of these like spinny tracker things which chooses the book I'm going to read next because otherwise I've got so many books on my to be read list. I will be searching for ages and I'll never read the books that are on there because I'll constantly keep on reading the new books I've bought and not the old ones. And so I've got this spinny tracker and it chose for me to read Normal People by Sally Rooney. Now this book is relatively short so I thought I would power through this book in no time at all. It's got amazing reviews, people bang on about it all the time and I read it and it took me forever to read because it was so dull. <laughs> I don't know why I did I just could not get my head around what the point of the book was I guess the title of it is kind of what the book is it's about normal people and the reviews for it on Goodreads are similar to my thoughts that nothing really happens in it now don't get me wrong this is my opinion so if you love the book you love the book that's fine but my opinion is that I just thought the book was a bit naff the main characters in it just kept dancing around each other all the time and I just wanted someone just to get some blinking control of the situations because it was just really irritating. <laughs> I just didn't understand what the point of the story was. I just felt like it ended on a bit of a flat note and yeah there was there was never any kind of like climax. You know how like most stories have you know starts off a bit and then gets a bit bumpy and then it gets really bumpy and then you hit like a oh my goodness that's happened or wow that's really interesting and you can't stop turning the pages. That didn't happen in this book at all. There was one part of it maybe actually maybe I lie maybe there's like a paragraph of it where I thought something was going to happen and didn't and yeah I just was a bit deflated by the whole book and it took me forever to read it and that's what that's what I know I'm not enjoying the book because like I say I think the book was about 250 pages which isn't really that long in book world so the fact it took me like three weeks to get through shows it was not for me and yeah I was really disappointed I was expecting fantastic things I'm glad I've read it I have to say I'm really glad I was finally off my to be read list but I was just really, really disappointed. I was expecting amazing things from it. And yeah, it fell flat. I know she's, Sally Rooney has got another book. Is it Conversations with People or something like that? I, I would give that one a check out as well because I do hear good things about that. I don't want to just assume all of Sally Rooney's books are 
not my cup of tea. So I'm gonna look into the her other books and see, cause people love it, Pe people love her. So maybe another one of her books will be up my alley. But yeah, Normal People was not for me. I think I gave it three stars. No, I gave it two stars on my Goodreads, just because there were parts of it that I could read, but then parts of it are just dragged out. So yeah, after I finished Normal People, I then did my spinny wheelie again, because I wasn't sure what book to read next. And it chose the book Black Canyon, which is a book that I think I either downloaded for free or was really cheap, but ages ago. I don't, I think I must have downloaded this one. I first got my Kindle like five, six years ago. And so when it chose this book, I thought, oh no, I'm going to be stuck reading another book, which I hate. Uh, what am I going to do? This is, you know, I've taken me this long to read Normal People and now I'm going to be stuck reading Black Canyon for months. And also I did consider spinning the wheel again to choose a book I did want to read. And then I just thought, well, what's the point of the spinning wheel if you're not going to actually stick to it? <laughs> so yeah, so I read Black Canyon and I, what I will say is it is a very short book. How many pages? It's 82 pages. So that, first of all, was an absolute godsend. I thought, oh great, a small book. I can whip right through it and it will help me get out of a reading slump, which it has done, I have to say. This book is something that I hadn't anticipated at all. It's really good <laughs> for 82 pages long. So I don't, it was, I don't know what the, is it called a novella? I don't know what a novella is. I think it could be a novella though. It's really good. It's a thriller. I don't want, I don't want to read the, the book description is on Goodreads because it might give it away. But essentially it's about a family of three who go hiking in a canyon and things go wrong. We'll just say that. That's the easiest way to put it. And there definitely was like a big shocker in it. And honestly, if you ha I would highly recommend checking out. I can't imagine it's much money on Amazon. How much is it? Let's have a look, see. It's 99p on Kindle. So if you have a Kindle and you want to read a quick thriller, which gets you out of reading slump, I highly recommend Black Canyon. Like I said, it's a book that took me by surprise, which is nice. The whole don't judge a book by a cover is completely relevant in this case because, yeah, like I said, I just got, got the choice on my spinny wheel and was like, oh goodness me, I'm going to be stuck reading this book for the rest of my life. Highly recommend it. I gave it four stars on my Goodreads because I'm a critic and I can't rate anything five stars unless it blows me away. And this one nearly blew me away, but maybe because it wasn't long enough, I didn't want to give it five stars. I don't know what the reason was, but I didn't give it five stars. <laughs> but that's all I read for the month of March, which is disappointing to me. I want to get, you know, I want to just get on with it and read. And I've got the book I'm reading at the minute, I'm nearly at the end of, but it's just finding the time to sit down and read. I'm on like 82% and I'm like, come on, quickly read the book. But I've got so much other stuff to do in my life that sitting down and reading is not a top priority. Also, the book I'm listening to at the minute is a parenting book, another parenting book. I do love me a parenting book and they can be quite deep to get through sometimes. But I'll speak about those in my April book reviews. Anyway, let me know if what books you recommend. Have you read any of the books I have suggested today? What do you think of the book Normal People? Am I just a really tough critic or is it actually a bit naff? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and maybe hit the bell button so you don't miss my April book reviews coming next month. And I will see you in my next video.